Hey guys, Matt here. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, why having a non-administrator account on your computer is so important, especially if you have a lot of people using your computer and you can't keep track of them every second. So let's pretend for a second here, a couple seconds, that you know you're away at work and your kid gets on your computer and he wants to, well, you know, he's in grade school, has no idea what's going on wants to uh, search for um, Google Chrome. Needs Google Chrome for some reason. Doesn't know where to get it, but decides to do his... What's to say he's using... Let's just say he's using Yahoo. A lot of people have Yahoo um, as their homepage just when I go out and visit them. Um, and he does a search for Google Google, Google Chrome, and right away we're presented with a large amount of ads. Uh, one is real, and the rest are all pretty much illegal in my opinion. Um, they will just download a bunch of adware on your computer. So right away we see um, Google Google Chrome download. Download the new Google Chrome now very big download now button you know you have t the, these people have tunnel vision they go right for it and you ignore all these other things here so basically what this is going to do is you know it's going to allow this kid to get google chrome but it's also going to install a crap ton of adware And we'll see uh, we'll see the result here in a second. So you know, bang, just want to accept, get through this as quickly as quickly as he can. And basically, this happens just constantly um, with a client with my clients. They have kids, or they have you know, the husband, the wife. Somebody's using their computer for oh, it was only a few minutes, and then all of a sudden. You know, we have Optimizer Pro on the desktop now, um, and, and their computer's just messed up, you know, and they have no clue on how to fix it, and it's just a mess, and then they have to call someone like me. And, um, yeah, so you get you get the picture here. Uh, lots of stuff is getting installed, and that shouldn't have happened, but the reason it happened was it's, there's one account on this computer, and it's the administrator account. So we will go ahead... Let me pause the video and revert my machine back really quick. Hang on. Okay, so my computer has been restored to before this kid sat down and installed all that crap on it. So what we want to do now is create a non-administrator account. And this is how you do it on Windows 8. I'll show you how to do it on Windows 8 and Windows 7. So we'll move the mouse down towards the bottom on Windows 8. And it pulls out that bar. Click Settings change PC settings this screen may go white for you for a second like it does for me sometimes it crashes on me I think it's just my little virtual machine here yeah it crashed so hang on a second change PC settings Alright, so this is what you'll normally see when your PC isn't acting up like mine is right now. Under Users, and this is where you want to start paying attention, so click Users, go all the way down to the bottom, and we want to go ahead and add a user. Um, on this screen, you'll be tempted to follow the directions right here. Don't. Go all the way down to the bottom, sign in without a Microsoft account, and then you want to go ahead and make sure you use a local account. And we'll call this kids. Uh, give it a password or don't. It's up to you. If I could spell. And we'll click next. I'm not going to talk about child safety tonight, so click finish. Alright, so this is a local account. This is not an administrator account local account. Um, 
and it's funny because my administrator account says local account, but they're not. They're totally separate things, and I'll show you the difference in a second. So go ahead and get out of this. You've made that account. You can just go down here to the Start menu, and then go back down to your desktop. And I'll show you the um, difference. So uh, I'm going to go into my control panel here, and a couple of people asked how I had the control panel shortcut on my desktop. Just a sidetrack here for a second, really quick. If you right-click on your desktop and you go to Personalize, I do this for every computer I'm on. I click Change Desktop Icons. It's right over here. And then I check all these. It just allows you to get the stuff you really need to get to without having to dig too deep. So go into Control Panel. Change, uh, not change, but uh, User Accounts. Yeah, User Accounts and Family Safety. We want to go ahead and go to click user accounts. And right now we're on Joe. You can see it's a local local account and it's administrator. We'll go ahead and manage another account. And we have kids local account, not administrator. So they are just regular users. So anyway, let's go ahead and log in as kids and try to download that Google Chrome again. So we'll go ahead and sign out. And we'll click kids, pop in that password, and it's going to set up their profile really quick, which I hate. So, just going to pause that real quick. Okay, I think it's done, so we'll go ahead and go back into here. Click desktop, and we'll go ahead and open up uh, Internet Explorer. And once again, we want to go ahead as this kid and try to get Google Chrome. It's kind of slow right now because it's setting everything up still. Whew. Hang on. <laughs> yay, yay. Sorry, still loading here. Got to give this VM some more RAM. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, Google Chrome. And there it is. So, you know, we're all set to Google Chrome. The bad one, the bad install here, the one filled with adware. But since we're on a non-administrator account, this shouldn't be able to run. And it doesn't. It prompts the user, the standard user, for uh, the administrator account. In this case, the administrator is Joe. So I don't know Joe's password, and I shouldn't. I'm just a kid, and that's you know probably my dad or something. So I don't know his password, so I'm just going to go ahead and click yes and kind of freak out, and no, I can't install it, so nothing happens. Nothing happens because they were a non-administrator account, and you just saved yourself a bunch of money because now your computer's not messed up anymore, or not messed up at all because, you know, they didn't install all that, all that uh, crap. So, anyway, that's just a real easy way on how that works in Windows 8. Windows 7 is uh, almost the same. Let me uh, go back into my uh, host computer here. In Windows 7, you can actually just click Start, Control Panel, User Accounts, User Accounts manage another account and we'll go ahead and create a new account so much easier in here standard user we'll just call him testy create account 
And now testy is a user that is just a standard user. They cannot really change many settings or install stuff or delete stuff. I forgot to mention all that. Change settings, delete stuff. They can delete their own stuff, but nothing else. So that is a really easy way on how you can save a ton of money um, by not having to hire people like me. <laughs> so just uh, you know, create some non-administrator non, uh, accounts and you're set. That helps out a lot. So thanks for watching. See you. Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, tonight I'm going to... Tonight. Why do I say tonight? And that's that's what we're going to be uh, giving a demo of tonight. And that's... Um, damn it, damn it, damn it. I just lost what I was going to say. Uh, uh, damn.